Uh, my name's Chris, I'm a youth worker for the Education Department. I was working with some clients uh, on a mountain biking program up at Smithfield and I just uh, took a wrong turn and, and uh, crashed my bike. I can remember landing on my back and thinking to myself, this is serious, because I instantly went numb from the waist down. Well, my current prognosis is that I have a crushed spinal cord. Um, my back has been stabilised, but I won't, I don't think I'll regain any feeling from the waist down. So I don't dwell on that, but that's what I think. Who knows? I had a fairly deep depression for, I, don't, I can't remember for how long, but I was, I confess, suicidal, I didn't want to live. Weirdly, it looks like a dream now. Um, but I went to the bottom and I didn't want to be around anymore until I discovered, until I start to think about my friends and my family and my daughter, all the people that I, that I felt happily obligated to kick on and kick out of that situation. But it was nice to surface, I can tell you and I surfaced with the help of a lot of people. A big part of my recovery was my partner's un unerring positivity. So you're fairly helpless to start with. You can't even get out of bed on your own. It's, your dignity goes out the window. You have to get used to all that sort of stuff to start with. But the rehabilitation process is, is, a, is a gradual thing until you get used to the people around you and used to the environment, used to all the new ways of doing stuff. You know? I think you just got to take it step by step. And when I was in Brisbane, my first aim was to get out of bed without being hoisted out like a leg of lamb, you know, like a piece of meat. So that was the first task, was to get out of bed and do it on my own. And then it progresses to bathing, showering on your own without injuring yourself, and all the toileting stuff that you have to do and get used to. The physicality of back in the gym and working out balance, maintaining strength. I guess the things that helped me mostly was my sense of humour, my music, great friends I had, carried me all the way through, family, so it was a combination of things. I knew I had to go back to work quickly for my sanity because I was, I, I, that's just what I do. You know? I was keen to get back to see how I, I would go. So it was a really gradual thing but I, but I got to the point where I kind of was enjoying it you know? and I wanted to increase the hours and so now I'm up to 20 hours a week which is nice. The main part of my job is engaging young kids who are having problems, so I can still do that pretty well. I've developed a different framework of, of working which includes more engagement of families and, and, and their kids, which is good, that's always what I wanted to do that anyway. And so I've moved into a, an area of work that I've, I've lost some things, but I've gained some things too, so it's been good. Uh, I think work plays a critical part in recovery, to reconnect with the people that that you work with and to, and to reassume that identity is really good for your mental health. You, you, the last thing you want to do is become isolated and bitter, you know. You've just got to uh, do what you can to get back to normal, in inverted commas. Yeah. So back to work's a big part of it.